जिंदा खुदा से दिल जो लगाते तो खूब था जिंदा Why are women not represented as religious leaders? And this is to everyone who would like to take a crack at that. Not allowed to be religious leaders. Who wants to start? Okay, I, I take a stab at it. It's a very difficult question. I'm representing Hinduism. and hinduism promotes equality of all human beings india was one of the first countries which had a female prime minister now to elaborate further on it let's observe what happens when we do not give due respect to females we learn by imitation and by identification who do we imitate and who do we identify with the most significant person in our lives and who is the most significant the mother she is the first teacher she is the first guru she is the one who gives birth to the prophets to the emperors to the educated and the uneducated any society any religion which does not promote equality of the sexes is the loser if as we say it takes the efforts of the whole village to educate a child similarly if we show due respect and promote education for the females who are the potential sisters and mothers of tomorrow who gains the family when a mother is wise and educated the coming generations will be educated but i do not know why in this day and age women are not allowed to represent in the church in certain other religions they are not allowed to say the prayers it really makes me wonder and i have no definitive answer i pass on to father mcfee <laughs> Well, I cannot speak for all of Christianity. I can only speak for the Catholic Church. But we have failed badly in that. We do have we have failed very badly. We have failed very badly in that, and we have to look at that very carefully, and we have to, we talk about justice and we talk about equality, but we don't practice it. but we will we will the spirit of god is moving even now and the spirit of god we have to have equality of men and women in the church and at the present time in the catholic church it's all men that call the shots they're the ones with the power and that's a mistake but the spirit is working in the world and we can't stop the spirit and the spirit will call us to justice and call us to greater equality we will have women in all these positions as time goes on father you should add slowly but steadily <laughs> <laughs> well i guess so i am slightly intimidated because of the majority of women sitting over here <laughs> in the sight of allah and i will not chew much you my words in the sight of allah man and woman are absolutely equal but they have different roles a man may wear bangles and may have earrings but can never be a children he can never do is for a different role so our roles are different 
That is why we have at the Olympics, we have the women competing with women and the men competing with men. You don't have the heavyweight boxer competing with a woman boxer, obviously. So this is something that has been given by God. But the Holy Prophet said that paradise lies under the foot of the mother, not under the foot of the father, under the foot of the mother. Once the prophet, a person came to the Holy Prophet and said, to whom should I show my absolute kindness? He said, to your mother. He said, after my mother. <coughs> he said, your mother. <coughs> your mother. Then your father. Well, in my ship at home there, I'm only second in command. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> you know, uh, in our culture, they're going back and looking at the ancestors in our culture where women did all, uh, a lot of the work, where the men went hunting and they probably got buffalo in the old days or, or deer, and they, that was all they had to do, bring it home. The women would skin the animal, they would cut up the meat, they would make the leather, and use all parts of the animal. And while they're doing that, they would look after the children, which they carried on their backs. And of course, they did uh, raising of the children, and uh, they were in charge of uh, the taking up the teepees and taking it down, and uh, all that has changed. So the warriors never really done much of anything, you know. I can say the women did quite a bit. In, uh, in today's um, society, I, uh, I look at some of the teachings that were passed on to us. We always honor Mother Earth. We call her Mother because she's our mother. We're the two-legged Ilnu. And Mother Earth provides us all in life. And we're only the two-legged. There's the four-legged. There's the ones that swim. The ones that uh, fly. Uh, even the ones underground, in the ground. And, and some we don't see. It doesn't mean that life isn't there. But it is there. And uh, in our lodges, our sweat lodges, we honor the women because the sweat lodge represents Mother Earth. And uh, Oomba Mother or planet Earth. Um, you just have to take a look around you. We all have a mother. Without the women, we all wouldn't be here. Thank you. Again, it's right, if you'd been in the synagogue today, it's right there in the Genesis today. The different stages of creation are each one higher than the other. And what's the highest one? Creation of man on the seventh day, but right after man was created, the woman was created afterwards. So is she higher? There are opinions to that effect. Uh, let me make two distinctions. Let's talk about what apparent equalities or inequalities in that, and then how actual things turn out. We are invaded by a world of imagery, a world of short attention spans, of fast things flicking the forest, all the time things are created, and all our religions, all our consciousness are subject to erosion by the various forms of the public and intellectual medias that we have in our times and that. And so we need to sort through those and see what's really happening. Um, I, would, I find what a lot of people say with some of my colleagues here on the panel. Uh, in some communities that I know of, it seems as if in the synagogue, it seems as if men are running things, and that they're there for some things, <coughs> and it seems that women don't have a role in the synagogue. Now that's true, there are some synagogues that way. However, if you look in, again, beyond the imagery, the more the superficial view, if you look toward a deeper view, if you see who is looking out for people in need, who's there to help, who is always reliable and on the way there, it's usually the women. It's been a little personal experience in my life, because I look back now a bit from my childhood. Growing up, it seems as if, not just my mother, it seems that we had a neighborhood of mothers and women 
who were together and you could rely upon them. Now maybe they didn't, maybe they weren't making money. You could get by with one job in those days, but you can't seem to anymore. Uh, maybe they apparently didn't do a lot of things, but they were always there. And if you needed something, if somebody had a problem, if a teenager would come in with a difficult relationship, it seems that the mothers were the ones you could go to and talk to them. Whereas the fathers were into Narishkeit. They're out busy in their work and their jobs. They're out playing football games and silly things like this. And so it seemed like the mothers were the ones that really... Zinda khuda se dil jo lagate to khub tha Zinda